Our celebrity guest is one of my dearest friends in comedy, who is also my mentor in many ways. She's an actor, she's a model, she's a writer, she's a performer of all kinds. She is witty, she's hilarious, she's full of wisdom. And she's got this wonderful nurturing energy about her that I love. And such a balanced view on all the things. I know you are like, who is this person? Yes, she's here! Please, welcome to the set, the amazing, the one and only, Angela! What professions do you do? Because, uh, you know, there's a, you, you have a, what people would call a normally portfolio career. Because uh, you do pretty much anything you touch, you do well. I, I've been really lucky. I picked up my skills along the way. I trained as a nurse and a teacher. And then when I retired, I was lucky enough to get work as an actor and mm. a model. Mm. And they're the things that I do now when I get the chance. Wonderful. So, yes, a new lease of life. New lease of life. I like how you put that. So you're never going to retire, really. That's, that's the secret to your youthful looks. I don't plan to. Wonderful. Don't so inspirational. Um, now, in terms of giving advice to other women, because you, you have had a wonderful um, a supportive relationship with your partner. You've had the kids together and they are also... Um, uh, wonderfully balanced people, you know, high achievers, and and you are all so annoyingly humble. I can't deal with this. You know, I can't. They are so humble. They're so lovely. You just want to squeeze them, squeeze the humble out of them. What would you advise to an, an average kind of woman who is looking for a life partner? You know, does she need to go eight years younger? Does she? Well, what are the questions that you asked your husband to? Have him think that it's like he's won the lottery today. Uh, well, when I met him, I, I thought, hmm, it's a bit of all right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, physical. I, I was teaching. I was teaching at adults in an evening class, and he came to observe. So I said, you know, why don't you come back tomorrow night? You know, that's when I'm on my own. I'm... I was team teaching and I said, come back tomorrow. And then he came back, bless him. But I didn't know he was younger. And when he told me he was younger, I thought, oh dear, I'm not into that. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't a child at that point. No, he was well. still an adult. I mean, you weren't a paedophile at this point. Please tell me that because the no. executive producers will like, go. No, no, no. How no. old was he? He, he was... 23, I think. Okay, well, then, Leonardo DiCaprio standards, he was yeah, still a yeah. keeper. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, Good. He was, yeah. And he was living at home with his parents. And his <laughs> <laughs> How attractive. <laughs> like, oh. no. I said, no, you, that's got to stop. You, you, you need to move out. And he did. He moved in with me. But I, I my mother, bless her heart, who was alive then, um, She's, she's just something else. But anyway, she, at, at that point, the, the three of us, I have a brother and a sister, and she told my brother, who'd found his partner first, he'd, she'd said to him, she's, she said, oh no, she's, she's too old for you. Because there's the same, it's exactly the same experience. Oh my the gosh. same age gap right. between my brother and his wife and myself and my husband, and my brother's wife and I are the same age. Mm. And my mother said, oh no, she's, she's too old for you, and she's white trash. That was, that was my mum. And then my sister brought her partner home, and she said, oh no, he's too black. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, and then can I you say that? And I, say what you like, can't you babes? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it just swings a lot of my block. Yeah. When, you, when yes. you get old, you don't give them on kiss. Yes. And then, <laughs> and then I brought Philip home, and she said, Oh, don't be so stupid. He's going to leave you. You're old. <laughs> it's like, Thanks, Mum. 
<laughs> but, you know, 40, 50 years later, Amazing. here we all are. Amazing. So, so despite other people not actually truly supporting you, because yeah. from what it sounds like, you, you, did, yeah. you did all right. Was it that you were just trying to show them that they were all wrong or no, just you just did your we thing? Ju we just grew together and worked it all out and stuck with it. Mm. So that's what I'd say to, that's what I say to my daughter, she, uh, our daughter. Mm -hmm. She's very particular and they've got to be six foot at the very least. <laughs> Andy will do well there. Oh, yes, yes, but yes, he's, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's back to single now, so that's fine. Oh. <laughs> I love, oh, I love that. Mm. Like, she looked up, down, so yes, <laughs> managing they, expectations. They've got to be beefy. They She's very be. specific. Yeah, and butch, they've, got, yeah. they've got to be Christian. They've got to love the Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she's just very, very particular. So one of the things I say is get to know the person. Get to know the person, yeah. Give them, give them a chance. You've, you've got no idea. Mm. And don't be too rigid. Mm. Just really, you know, as long as they're not going to harm you, find out about about who they are what they like and all the rest of it mm -hmm. and then just go for it you yes. never know you never know yes so is love as somebody once said this amazing thing actually um that uh, true love is not about two people staring lovingly at each other but actually about two people looking in the same direction absolutely you have to recognize mm what you both need mm. and be prepared to compromise be compromise pre oh i love that word what is uh, what is a good connection for you uh, is it with nature is it with self or with other people what is the good connection as you can see i think my faith mm. my faith um and i think as, as how do you uh, sorry to just clarify faith so is that religion or is that belief uh, my how would you define faith? My, for, for me, it's as a Christian. And although I've, I've, been, I've, I've been a Christian for a number of years, 30 plus years, there were lots of things that I didn't really understand fully. But as I got older and I've, I've um, let go Mm -hmm. some of the, some of the things that were taught and some of the things that we think or not we I'm talking about me some of the things that I held in really high esteem mm -hmm. so for example things like being very successful having um, a good academic history background uh, degrees mm -hmm. um, wealth, good jobs, all of those things. They are important, but they're not the most important thing or things. It's about what you then do with that. How do you contribute to society? Mm. Having amassed all of that information and having had all of that education, and now you may have some wealth or some finances, resources. What do you do with that? What? How do you then make your life meaningful? Mm, I like that. And it's because it's not about having it; it's about what are you doing what you to contribute. Yes, that's yes. right. So that, and and how do you allow other people to contribute to you? Mm. Because it's we it's it's a synergy and an exchange yes, of, of energies really yeah absolutely yeah. and we all have things that are very distinct and very unique about us and it's about being open to that and and being okay with yourself and that sometimes you make mistakes but that's absolutely fine mm. in god's eyes you're not a mistake there are no mistakes and you're accepted for who you are and and that that is is a thing that has become paramount for me simply because there's a lot less time ahead than there is behind <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so some it, of it is kind of like a given yeah so yes, it's a bit like you know mm. if i were to if the curtain was to close have i done what i'm here to do have you no 
Uh, what else is left? I haven't quite the... finished. Ah, I haven't quite finished. You're on a mission. Girl. And 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 that mm. and that and, and that. I I just think it's like I wake up and I think no, there there is, but I'm not going to rush and do stuff simply for the sake of it. But that those are the things that are important now, for me if now. If you didn't have any barriers, anything, what would you fix in this world? Like number one thing that needs to be fixed. I think relationships and just accepting people for who they are rather than trying to manipulate them, trying to exploit the differences, trying to use that to further an agenda so it doesn't really matter whether you enrich that person's life, you're just taking from them because there's something that you want. So, so you exploit their difference, you exploit their gender, you exploit their race. You ex you, 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 everything about you is what you can get and how you can then further your own nest. That's a thing that I would want changed, that, that we just stop it. It's the imbalance in those relationships, really, Absolutely. that you want to balance so that everybody... And, and to recognise when, mm. when something is wrong and evil, that you, that you don't do it. How dare you? Stop it. Yes, so yes. so that's, that's what I would Thank change. Thank you so much. Very lovely. Very lovely to have you.